Hi, friends. Welcome back. And I would love to talk about three of the things I recently finished in this video. I'm sipping a uh, latte here, and it has like a mocha mint flavored coffee. I don't always love flavored coffee, but this is delicious. This mug my sister bought for me when COVID hit, and so it's special to me. I really love it. Uh, I hope you are cozying up and you had a good uh, Thanksgiving if you're here in America. And so the first book I want to talk about is The Stardust Thief by Chelsea Abdullah. And this, the setting, is what just I just blew my mind. And I think this is kind of similar to kind of an Arabian Nights retelling. It has gin and treasure and maps and princes and forbidden people sneaking out and um, I really loved just the feeling of being in the sands, the shifting Arabian sands. Um, I liked the characters. There were, was a little bit of morally gray character characterization, which isn't always my favorite, but I thought that this one was, it was a light touch. It wasn't like over the top, although these people are like thieves and they are, um, like, um, black market dealers. Um, and so I really like the main character, Luli, and she is a black market. Um, she finds these objects or these ma that have magical properties. What There's a secret about these objects, and she doesn't even know it. But she finds these things with the help of her uh, bodyguard, Quadir, I think his name is. And <clears throat> there is some really interesting characters. There's a couple of princes involved, um, and there's Aisha she meets later. I found this fantasy novel extremely entertaining. I really enjoyed it. It um, did have pretty extreme violence, I would say, and there was a little bit of like a adult innuendo. But other than that, I really, really did like it. I'm fine with this just being standing how it is, but I know there is a sequel, sequel coming out next year. I kind of hope that they don't ruin it. Like when I find a first book that I really love and enjoy just the just following along the plot. I kind of hope that they don't do anything <laughs> to wreck the story. But I really did love this, and um, it was just such a fun, such a fun read. The second thing I read um, was a reread of kind of, it's like a pamphlet. It was written in the late 1800s, um, early 1900s. I didn't actually check the actual publication date. But this is like a series of talks that were given, and it's called Parents Are Peacemakers by Essex Chumley. She was associated with Charlotte Mason in the Lake District, England, um, at kind of at that turn of the century, the 19th century. And this is just a lovely look at home life. This is a nonfiction pamphlet. I would say it's 50 pages or less, but I often reread this. And I will hopefully link to where you can get it. It's at Riverbend Press. I don't think it's out of stock either, and it's really inexpensive. I'm hoping maybe to even go through this with some friends, some fellow homeschoolers slash mothers just to go through it because it's just lovely. There is a little bit of stuff that is very specific to that time because they were on the cusp of the Great War. And so that's really historically fascinating. But majority of the info and majority of the encouragement really can be applied now here in 2023 America. So I, that, I love that. It stands the test of time. So I really enjoyed that, and that was something great for nonfiction November. So, um, and also just a refresh, kind of in the middle of the homeschool year. I always need that. So, um, and then last but not least, I ended up picking up the audiobook, and this was just wonderfully, masterfully done as an audiobook, and that was Dune by Frank Herbert. I feel like I've heard about the film. I've never seen the film or anything, but I really actually think I heard about this at Emma the Bookish Princess a long time ago. And I know she's a Star Wars fan, too, so I wonder if that's why she picked it up. I don't know if she's a sci-fi fan. But I ended up really enjoying this. Now, it was super long, and I did have to kind of um, rush a bit at the end just because my audiobook was due back at the library and it had holds on it. But this was just unbelievably great. You are basically inside the mind of a few of the main characters. You do go to some other characters, too. This is extremely slow. It doesn't have a ton of action, which was surprising to me because of things I've seen about the film. 
Um, it was very character driven and the characters were just so interesting and there was just interesting motivation. Um, I think what it really attracted to me to it was this theme of uh, facing our fears, of sacrifice, um, and just there was a lot of political intrigue, intrigue that kept me on the edge of my seat. Um, I was very interested in kind of the creepy um, religious faction, the Bene Gesserit. They were very interesting to me. Um, and actually Lady Jessica, which is the main character, Paul, his mother. Um, and it was just really interesting to see kind of this um, chosen one uh, theme um, and just all the inspiration that they got from these four Star Wars it was really fascinating to me too. So I really did, in the end, enjoy this. I thought a lot about just my faith and facing everyday life, um, thinking of some of the ways that they did it, the characters. I really did like it. I don't think I will go on to, I know there's five, I think, official sequels um, by Herbert. I think people, other people continued it later, but those five original are supposed to be the best. And I don't, I'm not quite ready to hit Dune Messiah, but I will, hopefully I can find an audio of it. Maybe there's audio and eventually tackle that, but I'm good with where it's at. I was fine with it. It was really interesting. And I will say there was just a little bit of drag a couple times, but that, you know, is inevitable with something that's a little slower and you're in the mind of people, um, especially uh, towards the three fourths mark. Paul and his mother, I won't say too much, they meet up with some people and there's like this learning curve of, of, of new people and a new uh, people group and that part was a little slow for me. I just really struggled with that part. That's why I had to hurry up with the last bit, but then I really enjoyed the last bit. So it was extremely cool. So that is my, the three books that I want to talk about um, that I recently read, and I have more coming up here, um, trying to finish up a last some last-minute things before December so that I can start afresh. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying all of your wonderful reads right now and just cozying up. We finally got pretty cold weather here, and so it's nice to drag out all the uh, cozy blankets and uh, brew our favorite drinks and just settle down to more homeschooling and just enjoying the coming Advent season. So bless you and I will talk to you again soon. Bye.